Systems in the maritime industry, such as ship navigation and control, port infrastructure and related activities, are increasingly becoming digitalized and interconnected, which brings a lot of advantages, better efficiency, better communication, increased safety. But the problem is increased technology brings increased vulnerability. If you look at ships, the kind of technology in use for navigation, communication, monitoring is usually custom built. We need to ensure that that custom technology is also cyber secure and is not introducing vulnerabilities. If we think about the kind of thing that could happen with a cyber attack, in most aspects of daily life we think about it as loss of data, but if you think about the shipping sector, we could, in the worst case, see vessels damaged, incapacitated, even used to damage other parts of the port infrastructure. We need to recognize that about 80% of global trade goes by sea. Within the UK, that can be 90 to 95%. We also need to recognize that the ocean is becoming home to more and more use technologies. For example, offshore wind energy. And from that, craft a way of getting the entire sector to move from cyber ignorant to cyber aware to cyber secure. The IMO recognized that there was an unaddressed area in regulation, and that was around maritime cyber security. They introduced a number of new regulations or advisories initially, which effectively said all shipping operators need to consider cyber risk as part of their general risk assessment for seaworthiness of a ship. The University of Plymouth has been working in the maritime cybersecurity for a decade now. We're investigating both the kind of problems and the possible solutions we can bring to this and other emerging technologies and have worked hard to develop training methods that actually will have a productive effect in reducing cyber risk within the sector. We've worked with navies in more than one country to understand cyber risk from a military point of view. Major shipping companies have come to us to use our capabilities. We regularly run an international symposium with the IMO, providing the evidence to drive global policy for safer seas. Ultimately, this is about ensuring that the shipping sector is safe and secure and can carry on providing a crucial service to nations around the world.